Hi, I'd like to talk to you about why it's good to actually go see an herbalist as opposed to just looking things up online and finding an herb that is anti whatever condition you have or looking up your condition and seeing what herbs are good for that. And that can be great, but that's what we like to call a bell curve formula or a bell curve protocol, which is kind of like you have a one size fits all and yeah, it can fit a lot of people, but it doesn't necessarily mean that it's the best thing for the individual. So a lot of people find an herb that says it's anti whatever your condition is, fill in the blank, and they take that herb thinking that it's going to cure them. And a lot of the times it doesn't. And there's a reason for that. It's because it's a bell curve formula, and within that bell curve, some people are going to be in the middle where it's going to work really good. Some people are on the very edge where it's not even really going to work. It might not really even fit them. The one size fits all doesn't really mean that it's going to fit you very well. And so an herbalist is someone who, um, hopefully, if they have good training, is and they're a good herbalist, is going to be able to look at the individual instead of just looking at the diagnosis. So a medical doctor, which is great, and medical doctors do amazing work, but a medical doctor will give a diagnosis and then based off of that diagnosis, give the medication. An herbalist is a little different where we care about the diagnosis, but the diagnosis is, isn't really the end all of what's going on. The diagnosis is just the beginning. And then you start looking at the individual and you start looking at where their imbalances are, what they tend to eat. Maybe they have a nutritional deficiency. It could just be as simple as that. Many times it is, and you don't need to be taking these drugs. You just need to simply fill up your tanks with whatever nutrition you're deficient in. And so a lot of nutrition goes into herbalism as well, usually, depending on the herbalist. And so there's different systems of herbalism um, Chinese medicine will focus on things in the idea of energy and so they're going to look at the individual and look at their energies that are balanced or imbalanced and see what they're excess or deficient in energetically speaking and then find the right herbs for that in addition to whatever diagnosis they have. So it's not so much about the diagnosis, it's more about the individual and so that's what makes it more holistic. In Ayurveda, which is what I lean towards using the most, uh, there's the three doshas, which is just uh, different categorizations of symptoms and characteristics that includes body and mind as one thing, not separated. Um, so an herbalist will be able to narrow those down more and really look at things more holistically. So when you go to an herbalist, they're going to ask you all sorts of questions. They're going to ask you what your diet is. They're going to ask you things like how many bowel movements you have a day. Or at least that's something that I ask everyone, no matter what the condition is. It doesn't even matter. How many bowel movements you have a day is a, is very important to know. It, can, it, it, it doesn't determine what herbs you're going to take, but what it does is it narrows it down. Are you on this side or that side or somewhere in between? Because not a, not everything is black and white either. An herbalist is probably going to know that more than a more medical doctor. Where if it's above a certain number, then you're on one side. If it's below a certain number, then it's then you're on the other side. Even if you're just barely over. Um, a naturopath is is kind of like in between an herbalist and a medical doctor in the sense that they're holistic in a lot of senses but they also rely upon lab results and numbers to determine a lot of what they do and that's great and a lot of time herbalists will actually refer a client to go see a naturopath to get those lab results or a medical doctor to get those lab results because those are important to everyone but the difference is that an herbalist generally speaking depending on the system that they work with is going to not rely on the numbers as much as a naturopath which is more about bringing down specific numbers on a lab result whereas a more traditional herbalist is going to be 
looking at things in terms of energy and more in terms of um, symptoms and things like that. So I hope that this helps you understand that looking up herbs online and seeing whatever it is that they cure can be great and you can take an herb because it says it is good for whatever condition fill in the blank but everyone is so complex and everyone is different you could have 20 different people with the same exact condition go see a medical doctor they're probably going to get about the same prescription if you go to see an herbalist you're going to probably get different herbal protocols for each individual, all 20 people will probably walk away with something completely different and that's because they're not looking at the condition, they're looking at the root cause and they're looking at the state of health of the person from the very beginning. And everybody's born differently too. We aren't born identical. And so all of this is factored in making it truly holistic and that's why it's good to go see an herbalist. Thanks for watching.